The entire US Army has assembled. The cause for hundreds of tanks and infantrymen is simple. The Germans have a mega position ahead of the US Army. Three P-1000 Rat tanks, two Mouse tanks, and four Pack 40 turrets, along with 50 Panzer Grenadiers sit behind a bridge. These wonder weapons are larger than life, and the US Army has to pull out all the stops to defeat them. If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you'd like to see more World War II wonder weapons in the future. Either way guys, let's get into it. Real quick before we get into the rest of the video, let's talk about our sponsor, Boot.dev. Boot.dev is one of the best ways to become a programmer in the modern world. The program will teach you back-end web development from start to finish in Python and Go programming languages. And it's not bad to be a programmer nowadays. It has huge earning potential. According to Stack Overflow, the median salary for back-end developers in the US in 2023 was over 100 grand. And the folks at Boot.dev believe the smartest way to learn to code is to make sure you're never bored. It's online, it's self-paced, and it feels like a captivating RPG game. I took a couple computer science classes back in the day and did some minor coding when I used to work for Unity, and I had a lot of trouble learning it. But Boot.dev makes it extremely easy. You earn XP, levels, achievements, and complete quests to get on the global leaderboard, which is something I wish I had because I am very competitive. The platform at the end of the day is designed to get you writing a ton of code because getting your hands on the keyboard and shipping projects is the only way to really learn. So click the link in the description box below and use code daily tactics to get 25% off your first payment for boot.dev. That's 25% off your first month or your first year, depending on the subscription you choose. So thank you to boot.dev for sponsoring this video. And thank you to you guys for checking it out and using my code. It really does help me out a lot on the channel. Either way, Let's get back into it. Alrighty then, boys, let's go in slow-mo and press start right here as the pandemonium will begin rather quickly. The US Army begins coming forward, but the P-1000 rats are firing away immediately. People in the past have corrected me when I've said P-1000 Ratte, which is how it's like written, but I guess in German you just say Rat. Uh, so that's how I'm pronouncing it for this video. Either way, tons of fire coming in and going out. The P-1000s have a double huge turret. They've got a small tank turret on the front as well. Um, they've got three AA guns and then two turrets on the back. The mouse tanks are far smaller with just a few machine guns and turrets and stuff like that. Oh, and this one's already had its head clipped off, but the main body is still firing away, so that's good for it. Um, and then, of course, the pack 40s are in there. We've got some Panzer Grenadiers. And the U.S. Army is coming forward and firing away. They've got a hodgepodge of different... Uh, fighters basically they've got some t28s out here which are super heavy tanks m24 chaffees uh they've got wolverines out here they've got jumbo 76 shermans as well as uh standard jumbos they've got m4a4s out here um they've got m8 stewarts and then in the way back here they've got some of the calliope tanks which will be pretty fun when they come into range and are able to fire their calliopes out it's basically a land mattress on top of a Sherman tank. It doesn't get much cooler than that. Uh, but as of right now, the P-1000s are just having these shells bounce off them like it's absolutely nothing. The reason I did three P-1000s though instead of just one is because with this massive US force, uh, it is actually kind of difficult for one P-1000 to succeed. Look at this soldier. Wait, where'd he go? There's a dude just, yeah, there he is flying through the sky. <laughs> Oh, that poor lad right there. Uh, so yeah, we did increase it to three P-1000s instead of one because the U.S. Army uh, was able to basically just surround and destroy them completely if it was just one P-1000 rat. But if the three do end up succeeding here, maybe we run it with just the one P-1000 rat because when I did test that out, I wasn't testing it out with the mouse tanks or anything like that. There's some rockets coming in right there. The Calliope tanks start to fire and take out a lot of the German infantry which is a pretty decent loss. I mean, the U.S. infantry is now going to be able to come forward with their bazookas much easier, and those rockets are just striking out against the P-1000s, man. Absolutely devastating. The Pack 40s are completely dead. 
all the infantry is completely dead some of the top turrets are also losing their tank crewmen for the p1000s right there so those are gone I don't know if this mouse tank is even still alive. Oh, there goes the main gun. So it's Jover for that. Uh, the Yeah, the, the land cruisers are still alive. This one is still alive. This one is still alive. And this one is still alive. However, obviously some extreme damage has been done. It's looking like maybe main gun damage on the middle one there. And the far right one. That's not good. And the far left one. We'll see if they're still able to fire, but there's definitely some signs of damage, maybe weakening there. Um, but their front guns hopefully are still alive. Their back guns are hopefully still alive. I don't know, but those calliopes really did a number on them. And more calliope shots continue to come in. So these things could just be screwed at this point. They could be completely jover with. I don't know. I mean, they've killed tens of u.s tanks at this point but more are going to continue to come forward uh after that calliope barrage so we'll just have to see and another calliope firing how many calliopes did i give the u.s i didn't think this many oh my god all right let's go into normal speed here those calliopes are going to strike down and clearly that is a huge advantage for the united states right there whoo wee if these P-1000 rats die because of Calliope kills, uh, maybe we'll go ahead and remove the Calliopes and run it again just to see if that gives the P-1000s a bit more of a fighting chance. But uh, it seems like, yeah, most of the guns on these things are down, which means they can't really fire. I think some of the front guns are still alive, but the very top guns, the most powerful weapon that they've got, are down from that damage from the Calliope rockets. So, not very good good and that means that the u.s tanks are going to be able to come around the backs and hit them in the engine which is obviously going to be the most vulnerable part of the p1000 uh so that, that is probably going to be gg for these tanks i get the vibe it's probably gg and, and the back turrets are they've lost their crew members yeah it's, lo it's looking like GG at this point. Uh, we'll, we'll go. Let's do a little time lapse here. Let's watch them get surrounded and uh, eventually die here. But um, we're going to have to run this again, maybe without the Calliope's, to see if that actually works. All right, boys. Well, the. P-1000 rats are essentially dead. This one is super giga dead. I mean, yeah. This one is damaged beyond being able to function at all. It has no working cannons. Now It's just a sitting turd. Uh, and it's the same with this one right here. They're just getting shot constantly. To actually blow them up requires a lot. They did it with this one, but apparently they haven't hit the sweet spot here. Um, but the, they're dead. I mean, they can't do anything. The crew will starve out in a few days. So... Uh, yeah, oh, and the mouse tank too over here is dead, <laughs> but still technically alive, but yeah, dead. So, uh, let's run it back without the calliopes and see how that goes. All right, boys, no more calliopes. Everything else is the same. Let's get it and see if these P-1000 rats this time can secure the W. Look how big those, uh, those cannons are. Way overshot, though. <laughs> I mean, that was a, a real bad shot right there. Heck, even the AA guns are probably being able to track and or kill the lighter tanks like the M24 Chaffee uh, or definitely the M8 Scots. Those those could easily be killed by the AA guns or e even the, um, the, uh, the, the tank destroyers. These could for sure get killed too. So, I mean, these guys are just beefy boys. Uh, one of the mouse tanks goes down. Um, the infantry, though, this time should survive a lot longer, as well as the pack 40s This one took a shot to the shield, but is still alive currently. There's that front gun going off. It's, I mean, it's a big cannon, man. How how much uh, how much shties we going with? Um, 128 millimeter uh, meter shties, I guess. But I don't know what is that for the front gun or I don't know. I don't know exactly, but it's even the front gun is very able able to take out T28 as well as uh, these here, which are mouse turrets on the back. So those are very much able to take out the T28s as well. So basically, the U.S. Army is screwed, no matter what. Um, look at them running through the the ice right there, chopping it up a little bit. 
Very cool to see. Love it. This is actually one of the maps created by the Chinese developers where we do the very large scale defenses and stuff like that. Super, super fun maps that he makes. Um, so I, I thought it'd be fun to do it here as it makes it somewhat of a bridge battle as well, which is kind of cool. The other mouse tank still alive. Uh, the three P1000Rats all fully functional. Yeah, even the AA turrets are still fully crewed up in here. Um, right now they're doing a great job. Let's bump it up a speed here as the U.S. Army tanks continue uh, to push forward. I don't I don't know if they're going to be able to do this, man. I think, honestly, the Calliope's, like, clutched it up for them last time. There's so much smoke on the battlefield from all the shots being fired, all the explosions going off. The T-28s are just getting plucked away one by one as if they have, like, no armor at all. It's absolutely crazy. Look at all the movement, too. There's still so many of them left alive. One goes on the flank over this way. Oh, there goes the second mouse tank. Um... But it does get tracked, but at least it's on the side, so it can... Oh, no, it's dead. I was going to say it can, you know, flank around the back and get some kills that way. But apparently, not the case anymore. Not the case. A few more going on the flanks. I'm telling you, going on the flanks is definitely the best idea. But even the Panzergrens are still alive and well here. Uh, well, some of them have died at this point, but there's quite a number of them still alive. Uh, and there's a lot of U.S. infantry out here, but they seem to be dying, too. And just unable to really get those shots at the Panzer Grenadiers to take out that infantry once and for all. It seems to be a little bit of a struggle bus right there for them. Uh, more U.S. tanks pouring fire into these B-1000s, but it's just, oh, that snipe. It's just not really happening for the United States right now. U.S. Army is failing. I honestly think they have to go in the flak, uh, the back to hit them in the in the engine and, and that's the only way they'll kill one of these things i think um all the turrets seem oh wait hold on oh this main gun turret here is damaged but the other the main main one is good these are all fine and these are all fine <laughs> so like a tiny little bit of damage to that the back cannons are still doing great man I mean, it, it, it's crazy. Let's do another time lapse here because there's not a ton of U.S. tanks left alive at this point, And I think the German P-1000s are going to win again. And, and if they win, we'll go down and we'll just do one P-1000 after this. How about that? Well, guys, it does seem like the P-1000s are winning this thing pretty much outright. Uh, there are still some U.S. tanks left alive, but they're all tracked and in the way back here. Um, so I don't think <laughs> they're really going to be able to do much, but yeah. Uh, let's check out some of these kill counts. So the main body of the P-1000 here has 10 tank kills and 59 infantry kills. Not too bad. Oh, sorry about that. My reporting messed up for some reason. So, the baseline cruiser here has 10 tank kills, 59 infantry kills. The top AA gun has 30 infantry kills, 1 tank kill. This AA gun has 22 infantry kills. This one has 17. The back left mouse uh, turret has 18 infantry kills, 6 vehicle kills. Back right has 10 vehicle kills, 21 infantry kills. The middle tank as a whole has 71 infantry kills, 11 vehicle kills. Top AA, 6 kills. Back right, 4. Back left, 4. Back left mouse turret, 12 infantry kills, 4 vehicle kills. Back right, 8, t 8 tank kills, 29 infantry kills. This one has 59 infantry kills, 14 tank kills. The top turret has 15 kills, 1 tank kill. Back left, 13 kills. Back right, 4 kills. Back right mouse turret, 21 infantry kills, 6 vehicle kills. Back left mouse turret, 10 infantry kills, 3 vehicle kills. <gasps> And then, of course, some of the infantry has kills. Like, this has two tank kills, this Panzer Grenadier. Kind of crazy. All right. Um, well, they definitely won this. There's, like, four tanks left, and they're, like, stuck in weird places. Big explosion. Um, let's try one P-1000 for the finale here. All righty then, boys. One P-1000 tank versus the entire U.S. Army here. Let's see how it goes. If this can do it. Oh, that's not a good thing. The left mouse tank is dead already. That is not... The right one's gone. Not good. It, it looks like those died a lot quicker this time because they didn't have two more P-1000s sort of sandwiching them and helping them out a little bit. Still a lot of dead U.S. tanks across the battlefield. There, there's still the Pack 40s which is good. There's still the Panzergrenadiers who can get tank kills if they've got the Panzerfaust. 
Oh, oh, Panzer Shrek, whatever, they have a little bit of both, so it is helpful. Um, but yeah, I mean, still a massacre going on on the US lines here. But I, I do anticipate an L for the P-1000 Rate this time. Rat, Rate, ah, oh, god. I still don't really know how it's pronounced. I think it is Rat, but I, I still accidentally call it Rate just because I, like, get used to it. So I do apologize for that, boys. I do apologize. Uh, I should just call it the Land Cruiser from now on, honestly. That's probably the best bet. I mean, it's still getting crazy kills out here, man. It is getting nutso kills. Holy cow. I don't think the mouse tanks really did anything. This one has two infantry kills. This one has nothing, so they really didn't do anything. The pack 40s are now dead, except for this one, which has a tank kill, but it's main gun damage. This one has one infantry kill, and is still actually alive, so that's good. Uh, the infantry is still kicking. Uh, all of the turrets are still alive. Right now, the mouse tank has 39 infantry kills, 6 vehicle kills. Back right has 7 vehicle kills, 22 infantry kills. Back left has 9 infantry kills, 3 vehicle kills. AA turret left, 19 kills. AA turret right, 14 kills. AA turret top, 34 kills, 1 tank kill. Not too bad. It's honestly, it's getting crazy kills still. Uh, but uh, again, I, I just don't see it winning. But at this point, it kind of looks like it might. <laughs> This thing is an absolute giga chat. It seems like the only thing that will stop it is rockets. That seems like the best case to kill it. <laughs> Just as of right now, everything else is not capable. Even T-28s, there's like 30 T-28s on the battlefield, man. It's crazy, 76 Shermans too. They are super powerful tanks, they're really, really good. Even still, look at all the tanks. For some reason, they're all going to the left over here. And they are not being very successful in their killing at all. Oh, one of the gunners in the AI died right there, so that's something. Oh, we got some flanking going on. That's how you get the kill, but Panzer Grenadier takes it out. Infantry support is very important uh, to keep tanks alive just in general, so that's why we gave the infantry support there, um, but also it helps that they're able to throw anti-tank grenades and stuff like that. All right, why don't we do another time lapse, because I think the P-1000 is going to win this again. Well, boys, that's pretty much all she wrote again. There's a couple tanks that are just, like, vibing out in the back, but most of them are tracked. We'll try and bring them forward, but, yeah, they're, they're pretty much tracked. Uh, looks like the mouse back right turret did go down. The back left turret's still alive, and two of the AA guns are still alive. The main mouse contraption here, also very much so still alive. So, another W... Or, sorry, this is a P-1000. <laughs> Not mouse, I don't know why I'm saying mouse. Even solo, it, it actually won this time. Again, I did test it solo, um, and it did lose a couple times, but that was also with the Calliope, so... Yeah, that's crazy. The weakness seems to be rockets, and without rockets, the US Army are completely incapable of killing this thing. Either way, guys, that's going to be about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.